Hello, this is Solar PBTV from InterSolar Europe 2016. And we are together with uh, Michael Bermer, who is Managing Director at LTI RE Energy. Hello, Michael. Hi, so much. So, Michael, now you are a bit more relaxed, yeah, because we are almost at the end of, um, of the show. But uh, still, you know, it's almost closing, but you have customers behind. Was it uh, so busy during the whole week? That was a really a very good uh, InterSolar for us. I mean, yesterday and the day before was just like crazy and today i mean you have more the time to do a little bit more deeper discussions about projects but all in all it was very good and we are very much pleased and what about the um, customers who are coming uh, do you feel that this is like a german event european event or it finally took the international dimension no it's very special i mean uh, at the end of the day it's like um, gathering all together in munich uh, and that's, I think, what you really see uh, this year more than in other years before. It's not too much about a specific region, so we uh, were lining up a lot of meetings. And we got investors together with project developers, with, let's say, associated companies who also bring in components that we really discuss projects through from top to end, and this worked very nicely. So this one is more focused on solar, yes? So, or also you have um, customers, let's say, for associated technologies. Yeah, it's true. I mean, um, what we are really seeing, and uh, this started uh, some two years back, but um, storage systems are really picking up, and you see a lot of uh, storage guys uh, being there. And the booths are even bigger than here, yeah? Partially they are, yeah. For us as an inverter company, though, I mean, uh, it's, it's a nice thing. Whatever source is generating DC, it's fine for us. We are converting it and pushing it back to the grid. Besides storage, what we also do are smart energy solutions. So, for instance, ORC turbines. So we are designing our components into the solutions like we did before in the wind business as well. So we were the first one who pitched wind pitch systems electronically. So and uh, this is giving us a volume of roughly 12 gigawatt of shipments in wind every year. So we are quite, uh, let's say, um, disruptive, but also visionary company because only now we are starting to, um, to have like a political discussions because you know that InterSolar is also um, connected uh, to EU PVSEC. Yes? So we had some high-level politicians attending from the European Commission, Parliament, uh, EU PVSEC. So now we are speaking more about uh, solar as a part of the energy solution yeah? and even transportation solution. So as you mentioned, um, LTI. Uh, our energy is integrating the whole, let's say, portfolio of renew renewables. Does it help you, I mean, in the solar business, the experience that you have from other renewables? Yeah, let's um, answer in a slightly different way. So from uh, the mother company Kerber, we are always a solution provider. So we are designing with our clients also in traditional machinery construction business solutions. So the whole thing is about solutions. We are not a component supplier who is just shipping out a couple of inverters and that's it. So we are thinking in projects. And when we are talking about the energy mix, it's important to, to understand. It's not just a solar generator, but it's definitely the integration into the grids. It's a combination with other sources. And this is, of course, not only a mega trend, but something uh, a lot of guys are picking up already, but this is really key strength. So as in, uh, let's say, German engineering company, it's very much where our value is. So one third or even 40% of all our employees in Kerber and also true for the LTI group are engineers, uh, technicians who design projects uh, to customers. And this can be solar, but it can be also other different sources. So in Europe, uh, how would you describe now the business in Europe? Maybe not only just for solar, but for other renewables. Yeah, it's an interesting question. I mean, uh, we see, of course, uh, besides solar uh, storage, uh, for sure. But even more, we see, uh, after long discussion, and also talking about Germany, uh, ORC turbines uh, picking up. So we have a um, good supplier where we design our components into their supply. And this is um, getting really serious business. And um, we like it a lot and see this not only as a trend for Germany, and uh, let's say Austria, another part of Italy, Switzerland basically, but this is uh, going quickly 
like the solar routes, we will see it in, in Japan, you will see it starting in some states of uh, US um, and yeah, also in countries where you wouldn't expect in the beginning, like India, uh, one or the other project is coming. So, Michael, you are a person who is running the business, let's say, of the company, but also you are a networker. So recently we met in Shanghai, and I would like to ask you, because we didn't have opportunity to speak in Shanghai about, about this, but uh, you are also now starting to be active in China, yes? Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, what we are doing, we are integrating forces, so to say. So we uh, partner up uh, with strong partners from the regions, which uh, build mostly some part of our supply for their own uh, projects and we also buy back from them for other projects and this is a very good approach because it's a collaborative uh, approach and it's a win-win for the partners, it's a win-win for the end client um, yeah and it's a very effective way of uh, localizing and getting local supply into your supply chain. So you were mentioning that uh, so it's so important the, the partnerships so as we discussed today in the panel discussion of the Solar Business Club uh, a very important element uh, of this kind of relationship is age to age, yes, human to human. So could you could you also comment on that? No, I think uh, we both invented this age to age the last time, right? And it's very much where it is about. You're dealing with people. Your the whole business is built on trust. It's good by the economics for sure. Solar is very competitive. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the realization of a project, this is depending on people. And doing the things right is, of course, working in a in an approach with many companies on one project. It can be not just one company doing a, a big project, right? So it's really collaboration. It's very early months and even years and then some of the pipelines before you're working together, getting the components together, do the design and um, then also execute successfully a project. It's about H to H, as you're saying, of the guys uh, on the ground, but also, of course, uh, let's say the management supervising these processes in the background. And it's good to have this network and give um, partners a call and make this moving because it's all about time, speed, yeah, to get the sites connected. So you have uh, on your banner German heart local content. <laughs> so I assume, I would like to ask you this question. So as we are now at the uh, European Championship, with your German heart, whom do you support actually and who do you think will win the championship? Yeah, I mean Germany is having a difficult half uh, side of, uh, let's say, uh, the, the groups. Now we have, I think, Italy, Spain, England, France all on our half. So if we are staying uh, in the tournament for the quarterfinal, I think we have also good uh, chances to win the final, right? So you believe that, uh, that I mean, your German heart uh, tells you Germany will win? Yeah, let's let's say I, I hope for that. It's good to have some German supply in, and I think we will be in the final. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Michael, and uh, see you around uh, on another continent. I'm Thanks so much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you too much. That was Solar PVTV together with uh, Michael Bermer at LTI RE Energy, uh, who was one of the inventors of the H2H approach in the solar business. Thank you for watching.